Four runs. Well bowled. Shot was out of control, no doubt about that. And just a sort of edge that might have flown finer and in the air to the slip fielder, but uh, the luck was with Kepler Vessels that time. He's really got a good line there, Gus Fraser. Just planted a little uncertainty in the batsman's mind. Most certainly played at that. He's driven this in the air, which is very unlike him, and gets four runs. But that might just have something to do with that silly mid off. I've not often seen Kepler Vessels play this sort of shot in test cricket. So one can only assume that it's down to the tactics of the England captain. Good stroke. <laughs> Kepler is a deflector and a nudger and occasionally a blaster. That is very big. Atherton still attacking four close catches. Frustrating part of Vessels. Defensive block and it's four. Fraser's not happy. Doesn't waste a moment. Or a loose ball. Captain Vessels has played uh, quite a number of strokes like that. Anything loose, he jumps all over it. That's a good shot. Talking earlier about the fact that Vessels is severe on anything loose. That wasn't really loose, although the direction was towards his pads, and he is very, very strong. And that's it. Well played, the captain. A half century for Kepler Vessels. Much appreciated by the South African dressing room, 135-2. It really was important that he dug in there with, with Gary Kirsten. He, a little wobbly over against Angus Fraser, who... Oh, nearly got both left-handers. Chase from Salisbury and Stewart. And again, this time over the wicket, but bowl wide of the off stump again. That's been the key to A, the wicket of Gary Kirsten, and B, now that almost chance from Kepler Vessels. That's a very, very good stroke. Vessels is strong there. Anything short outside the off stump, he deals with it very severely. Yes, yeah, not much pace in this pitch. Alan Goff just banging it in after T. He can't be properly loose. His second ball. It would have been uh, better if he'd have pitched it up for an over. Got himself really loose before he started banging anything in roads. The jack in the box. Perfectly timed again, that'll run away down the hill. We can't afford uh, two loose deliveries in an over. One's bad enough because four runs and overs and over. What a delivery that was. <laughs> now, was that off a glove? Bat handle. That was a very sharp effort from Steve Rhodes. And there might well have been a bit of glove in there. Good shot. Very neat little back cut. 
just waited on it. of width and slightly over pitched and he really did give that something a little bit of width involved as well don't want to miss out on those when you're on 94 two runs short of what would have been a very important hundred for his side and no doubt for himself Two lovely strokes to bring up his hundred. The South African captain has played really well today. Great response from around the ground and from his teammates. Well bowled. That's a nice reply from Craig White. And a couple of vessels has gone. The Englishman will forgive him, but will he be able to forgive himself? He'll look back at that and won't actually believe it. Firstly, a wonderful innings. Look at the end of it. So wide. Always going away from him. Rhodes does well. Good catch. Not only was it going away from Steve Rhodes, but it was going down as well.